and there we go. No problem. Sure, you did hit me a few times and it's good that I drank my Estus, but hey, item. Demon Titanites. That is number two, I believe. No, I have a few more. I have six currently. Eh, good. Uh, we have here. Nestle in coffin? Why? Why would you do that? Why? Now a big part of me wants to try it, but something about this still tells me there's a trap here. Let's see, we got Eye of Death, three of them, hidden path ahead. Nope, no hidden path, definitely no hidden path. What is an Eye of Death? Lure phantoms from another world. Online play item. Lure phantoms from another world. Only Covenanter... Only Cov Covenanter can use the item while Hollows cannot. What? I have no clue what that means. Uh, the dreadful eyes of death spread disaster across neighboring worlds. Phantoms lured to the host world may end up as victims, allowing the eyes of death to multiply and leading to further proliferation of bane. So... Use the eyes of death. We are going to remove you. Use the eyes of death and kill phantoms who are then going to invade your world while you want them to invade. And get more eyes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why would you nestle into a coffin? What reason would there be? Hey, who knows it's pretty cozy in there. If I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do it after I find a bloody bonfire. And see if there's nothing else here. Which doesn't look like it. Nope, nothing else here. Got it? Well, down the ladder we go. I don't trust this place. Uh, that's a big coffin okay what's the point of said coffin nothing okay it looks like you can open it or something uh, well um, another ladder yes I am not entirely trusting this place I am not going to slide down just like that okay only normal stuff <laughs> no, no, that scared me. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. I need whatever you are. I need to kill you. There we go. How's that? Great. So, um, yeah. I'm just checking. Is there any invisible wall or something? Oh. What? What are you? Um. What? Oh, and you keep on going? Okay, you're easy to defeat, but... What? That is gruesome. Hi! How are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay, that is disturbing, and also, um, he kept on rolling. Kept on rolling even after hitting the wall. Ah, oh, and it's these skull things. Can you not? Come on, get over here. There we go. Good skulls. And... Nice. Next one. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Mr. Skeleton Wheel. Luckily, I have full protection. And I can easily kill you. Okay. Um, how many are there left? A fair few. And you're already noticing me from here. Or are you just normally casually walking? No, you're not. So, go ahead. 
roll at me. Autobots, roll out. Or something. Or like, kill you. I don't trust these things. Two more. No, three more. Okay, this might get a little bit more risky. Well, that works. <laughs> Go ahead. Roll at me. I dare you. Whoa. Random wheel. <laughs> you guys are interesting. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa, 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 what? Hi, where did you come from? Oh my god. Black Knight. Sudden Black Knight. With a battle axe. Okay, and can I? There we go. Nice. Does that kill you? No, it does not. But that will. <laughs> White Titanite Chunk. No Battle Axe, that's a shame. What's a White Titanite Chunk? We didn't got those before. Uh, titanite Chunk for Weapon Reinforcement. White Titanite has powerful Miracle Energy. It reinforces Divine Weapons to plus 9 and Occult Weapons to plus 4. With the discovery of Chunks in Lordran, the race to locate the Legendary Slabs has begun. But could they be mere myth? Yeah, we heard about those Legendary Slabs before. We don't have any Slabs, do we? No, they are still legendary. Still a myth. Well. Um. That's where you would think you need to go. I hear a blacksmith. Um. Anything? No. If something screams... I see something there, but... Hmm. Okay, so that is not... A wall. Not an illusory wall. Okay. How do you... Okay, you can get up there, but... Oh, uh, this place is confusing. I want to know how I can get to that blacksmith. Be wary of amazing item. Okay, I'll keep my eyes open. Balls ahead. Um, the bonfire is quite far away. That's not good. I have 16 S's, 2 soft humanity. Uh, I'm so gonna die. Yes, I'm so gonna die. No boss ahead. Okay. I still don't trust it. Try hitting them in one swoop. Ah, oh, hitting them, not hitting him. Ah, oh, don't, don't do multiple enemies again. Wait, is this? Is this a massive tomb? I believe it is, and it's quite fitting when it comes to the name of the next area. Uh, that's a lot of books down there. Can I? I need to jump down here. I can't walk that. Oh, it's a cutscene boss. Oh, dear. What is he doing? Um, sir, greetings. Okay, totally not creepy. Totally not creepy at all. What? Yeah, you have a visitor. Pinwheel. Um, whoa. That's what I meant with hitting in one fell swoop. You're the real one. You are the real one. You're the real one. You are quite easy to defeat. You make copies of yourself. Well, by right of kindling, you may now kindle beyond the normal limits? What? Was there a limit? <laughs> Foolish question. Um, 
Okay, you dropped something. Mask of the Father. Could I have randomly gotten any of those three masks? Um, first up, where is it? Rite of Kindling, rite which boosts bonfires even further. This secret rite allows bonfires to be bolstered further with kindling, so that even more essence can be collected. Kindling was a sacred rite passed down among clerics, but all undead can imitate the process, in the same manner that they restore their hollowing with humanity. How peculiar that humans had found little use for humanity until they turned undead. Yes, and now they are completely without. That's quite interesting. So, uh, okay. Normally, a bonfire is 5 esters. When you kindle it, it goes to 10. Are you unable to kindle it even further after that, so you can't go higher than 10 Unless you have this rite of kindling, which would then allow you to go to 15 and 20, I guess? I also guess that comes in useful, but... Huh. Interesting. So... How do I get out of this place? I can hold a bone out, but... I'm looking for Nito. Oh, Mask of the Faller. Forgot about that, that one. It's a... Mask. Uh, okay, it's weird. One of the three masks of the pinwheel, the necromancer who stole the power of the grave lord and reigns over the catacombs. Well, not anymore. This mask, belonging to the valiant father, raise, slightly raises equipment load. Um, curious me is curious. 135 and... 141.7 Okay How do we look? <laughs> I don't know, do we have a reason to wear this? It looks weird Definitely looks weird <laughs> Um, yeah We Could go for a better Gauntlet in this case, I guess Let's see, Elite Knight Gauntlets. Are those better? Slightly. Magic, Fire and Lightning Defense is less and Bleed and Poison, but... Does that mean I can still... Yeah. Still weird. Still absolutely weird. So, um... Yeah, you were working on... Stuff. Um... These are hidden. Really, really well. Was the one on the other side too? No. Well then. Um, okay. Well, we defeated the pinwheel, I guess, so... Um, who turned out the lights? Oh god, no. Um, what? Short cut ahead. Why is it so bloody dark? Um Okay, I can go over this and or Why is it so bloody dark? Solve a proud knight, this drops me back down there. Um what? That is an issue. That is an issue. How can I... Okay, I'm not liking this. No, I'm not liking this. I have to go into the darkness without seeing anything. Oh, they can't do that, right? How? How? No. I must have missed something. I must have missed something. Uh, shortcut. I'll take the shortcut. Because we can't go anywhere else. They can't do that. Full darkness. 
me. I can barely see. I can barely see. I have a teeny tiny light around me and that's it. This can't be it. Please tell me it's not it. Oh my god. Okay, um... I must be missing something, right? Like all these items here... Must have missed something. Is there any way for me to even get to that blacksmith? Like, he's over in that direction. But... Come on, anything? I need something. I'm not having anything here. Ah, uh, bloody hell. Okay, what did I miss? What did I miss? Anything back here? No. Thought so. Um, is it me or does this? <laughs> really? Oh my god. I saw the slide floor discoloration. Oh my god. Um, okay. I don't know where this is going to lead me, but... Geronimo? Okay, it leads me somewhere. With items. This is good. Soul of a Proud Knight. Eh, not amazing. Gorgeous view. Eh, sort of. Still. Um, not really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some kind of entrance. Somewhere. But I really, really feel like I'm currently missing something. Like, if I go into that pit of darkness all the way in that direction, there's no way that's going to loop back to that blacksmith. That can't be, right? Like, why would they let you hear the blacksmith now? Wait, is this also? Okay. Is this the same, or...? I think it's the same. Yep, 100% the same. <laughs> I'm just gonna scout the area out to see if I find anything. Maybe that coffin. You could nestle into the coffin. Don't ask me why you would do that once again, but... Maybe it's something. Maybe... But did I miss another breakable floor somewhere? Uh, no, this is absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. <sighs> well, I guess we are just gonna nestle into a coffin. For some reason. I'll have the homeward bone out if I have nothing else to do, but... Yay! Well, here we lay. The father. <laughs> Definitely the father. So cute. So weird. Definitely oh so weird. Ah. <sighs> There has to be a reason for this. Right? Okay, there is a reason for this. Cutscene. Um, this was a bad idea, I think. This was a very, very, very bad idea. What was that? It was a skeleton, most likely, but... What? Oh, this can't be good. This can't be good. Oh, it's dark. Okay, where did we end up?
where the big guy ended up is a very good question, and I'm sure that in due time he'll realize what location he is in. I do wonder how long it'll take for him to find that blacksmith, and a way to fight the darkness.